Hello everyone, I'm Rose Jacobs and I welcome you all to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm speaking with Carolus Rosikas, he's the CEO of Regenius. Here at Calcon we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock market and help you understand how you can create your own. Carolus Rosikas is an experienced executive and healthcare entrepreneur with over 15 years of business experience in healthcare, technology and finance throughout Europe and Asia. He's the CEO of regenerative medicine company Regenius and you're also a Sydney-based clinical stage regenerative <laughs> regenerative medicine company, excuse me, using stem cell technologies to develop a portfolio of novel cell-based therapies. Regenius's regenerative platform technologies, Progenza and Cygenus, seek to address unmet medical needs in human health markets, focusing on neuropathic pain, including osteoarthritis and various skin conditions. Carolus, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. Great, let's jump straight in. First off, with the rising investment in the medicine and a growing global research pipeline, what are the key demand drivers for the medicine products and how is Regenius addressing this? Sure. So first of all, uh, new enabling technologies for regenerative medicine have been developed, such as genetic sequencing and cell engineering, which drive a lot of innovation in the regenerative medicine space. Secondly, there are numerous diseases uh, with a mathematical need, uh, meaning diseases which cannot be treated with traditional small molecule drugs or simple biologics such as antibodies. Therefore, we need to uh, more advanced therapeutic modalities uh, such as cell and gene therapies to cure these diseases. Okay, well, Regenius certainly recently partnered with the Australian Department of Defence to develop your technology platform, Cygenus, for cam combat casualty care. Can you tell us about your Cygenus technology platform and the attributes that make it suitable for battlefield use? Sure. So, uh, first of all, Regenius is one of the pioneering companies in cell therapy industry. Over the past 14 years, we have developed a proprietary technology based on specific type of stem cells called mesenchymal signaling cells, uh, which we extract from a donor's adipose or fat tissue, grow those cells, and then administer them in humans to treat various diseases. Um, our lead product called Progenza addresses a knee osteoarthritis, which is a disease of degenerating cartilage in your knee, causing severe pain, stiffness, reduced mobility, and other symptoms. Um, so on one end um, of the osteoarthritis treatment uh, spectrum, we have drugs that provide a short-term pain relief, but do not treat an underlying cause of the disease. And on the other hand, we have um, highly invasive total knee replacement surgeries. However, uh, there are no so-called disease-modifying therapeutics in the market to reverse the cause of the disease, which in our uh, case is degeneration of a cartilage. And that's where stem cells come into play. We have various mechanisms of action, including modulation of the inflammation in the knee, as well as the regeneration of the cartilage. So we have an opportunity to become a first-in-class disease-modifying therapeutic uh, for knee osteoarthritis globally. What pertains to uh, the Australian Department of Defense partnership, uh, we have um, a second platform uh, called the Site Genius, um, where basically a bit of a background. So one of the pr principal mechanisms of how mesenchymal signaling cells work is uh, by secretion of various proteins and signaling molecules uh, which interact uh, with other cells such as immune cells in the human body. Uh, so we have a, se a second uh, platform called Cygenius where we take those uh, uh, secretions and add them to the creams and gels to be administered topically. Uh, to treat uh, various conditions um, of skin and uh, regeneration of the tissue. Um, so in the partnership with the Australian Department of Defense, um, uh, we will uh, develop a product for specific combat situations and uh, Cygenius could be uh, applied instead of morphine or other analgesics to uh, treat pain, uh, wound healing and other indications. 
Well, I believe you also currently have a license and collaboration agreement with Japanese manufacturer <laughs> Kyocera to develop your lead technology platform Progenza for the knee osteoarthritis. How is the partnership progressing in Japan? I believe you're progressing towards phase two trials. That's correct. Um, first of all, we're very excited about the partnership with uh, Kyocera Corporation in Japan to commercialize our new stock this product in, in, in Japan. Japan has an accelerated approval pathway for cell therapies, uh, which means that we will be able to commercialize our product after the upcoming phase two clinical trial. Our collaboration is advancing well. Uh, we are actively working on establishing a manufacturing process locally and are preparing to start a clinical trial soon. Given that Kyocera have an existing joint replacement business in Japan. They already have an established distribution network uh, through orthopedic surgeons in Japan. What that means is that after the regulatory approval, Progenza will be rolled out throughout the distribution network and thereby reach a large number of osteoarthritis patients in an accelerated manner. Well, Regenius is also planning for phase two trials in the US. Can you tell us about your plans there and why you decided to target this market? Absolutely. So Japan represents an immediate near-term opportunity for Progenza in neosophritis, given the accelerated regulatory approval pathway. Um, however, uh, the US represents the largest market opportunity for us globally. One in six adults in the US, so around 33 million patients, suffer from neosophritis in the United States. Combine it with the fact that there are no disease modifying drugs or therapeutics available in this indication, and you have a very attractive market opportunity there. So, therefore, we are actively preparing uh, to launch a phase two trial in the US. Uh, we're currently manufacturing a GMP product for the trial and have engaged with the FDA uh, to go through the investigational new drug or IMD approval uh, process to launch a trial next year. At the same time, we are holding various discussions with potential commercialization partners for Progenza in the US, and I will be excited to share more news in the future. Well, you recently announced an institutional placement of $4.5 million, representing a solid validation of Regenius's technology and product pipeline. Do you have plans for future partnerships and licensing outside of Japan? Yes, I'm, I'm happy to share that more institutional investors are joining the Virginia Share Register, which further validates our technology team and market opportunities we are addressing. Uh, Fuller Capital uh, allows us to prepare for the Progenza osteoarthritis uh, phase two trial in the US and get us closer to future milestones for labor approvals, clinical trial results, and commercial deals. We would like to provide access to Progenza therapeutic to more osteoarthritis patients worldwide, and we'll be working hard to run clinical trials and partner with pharma and orthopedic companies to commercialize our product in more and more countries in the future. Well, it's been lovely chatting with you today, Carolus. We thank you so much for your time and valuable input. Thank you very much. That's all from us with Executive Corner. Watch this space for more. Until then, stay safe and invest wisely with Calkind.